Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand CPU scheduling and types of CPU scheduling algorithms. The concept of short term, long term and middle term scheduler has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, CPU scheduling. So what this CPU scheduling is, so this is this uh, switching of process from ready state to running state is done by the short term scheduler which we have already discussed so when uh, th that is what we call it as uh, cpu scheduling and what is the need of cpu scheduling so that we will try to understand so whenever a process is getting executed uh, and uh, whenever a process is in running state so it will get shifted either to the wait or block state or to the ready state so when that happens is for example if process is if a process is running is in the running state whenever the time quantum whenever the time quantum ends so then that process in the running state will be shifted to ready state and whenever that process if if the process is executing an io instruction then that process will be shifted to wait or block state okay so uh, when if when if, when that process getting shifted to ready state or to the wait state so the cpu the operating system has to schedule another process for cpu another process for cpu another process from ready state to running state so that decision of which process to be shifted from ready state to running state which process to be allocated to the cpu which process to be allocated to the running state so that is what we call it as cpu scheduling and there are different types of algorithms for cpu scheduling so they are first come first serve which is called as fcfs shortest job first sjf longest job first which is uh, in short it is called as ljf and the next one is priority scheduling and the next one is round robin scheduling and the next one is shortest remaining time first srtf uh, other one is longest remaining time first lrtf and the next one is highest remaining ratio next so these are all the eight different types of cpu scheduling algorithms so the detailed explanation about each and every algorithm will try to make it in our next coming classes so this is all about uh, cpu scheduling and the different types of uh, scheduling algorithms hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching